So here we have a new product called the Wave-On Switch. This is for the Peltman Crane lights. May fit other lights. You'd have to do a site inspection to see. The way this switch works is it's a motion control switch. So it replaces the factory paddle switch. Simply wave your hand in front of it and the light turns on. Wave your hand back over it again and the light turns off. This benefits the doctor simply because cross-contamination is out of the question here because he's not touching the light. So some of the added benefits of this switch are new light functionality without the expense of buying an entire new light. It creates a favorable perception with your patients. A very, it's a cool factor to just wave your hand in front of it. It saves time and money because the doctor no longer has to put that blue tape over everything you know, as a barrier control. It also improves the OSHA infection control score in the office, and they're always looking to increase that. Okay, so our first step is to disconnect the original paddle switch that comes with the light. We want to make sure that we unplug the light so there's no power. I'm going to disconnect all the wires. We have the two power wires coming up to the light, and we have the two wires coming to the bulb, going to the bulb. This is our motion control, and the back nut that keeps it in position takes the place of the original switch. Screw this right down. You want to be careful. This is plastic. You don't want to over tighten it because you can crack it. And by the way, you want to try to work over something in case the light head falls. You don't want to crack the glass. <clears throat> so the first step, we're going to connect one power wire to the red switch, the red lead. tuck this out of the way. That leaves us with two more wires. The next one we're going to use coming from the light bulb will connect to the white. Wrap that together. And then power coming from the transformer will also connect that to the white. So you have three wires connected here. You have the white you have power from the transformer and you have your lead from your light bulb. Wrap these together. We'll tuck that in later. The next one we're going to connect is the right hand side, the right lead from the light bulb into the blue wire. Now we can go ahead and tuck our wires in. Now that our wires are tucked down, we can go ahead and plug the power transformer in and we can go ahead and test it to make sure that our connections are right and we have power. So now that you have your wires tucked in, it's time to test to make sure it, wor it works. You want to wave your hand over it and it's going to be set very close, so you have to get your hand right up against it. You want to turn it on and turn it off a couple of times. And then once you know that the light turns on and turns off and the switch works fine, you can go ahead and put your cover back over so your light head doesn't fall off. Okay. Now what we want to do is we want to set the distance of the, the motion control, how far the doctor has to hold his hand away from the sensor to get it to turn on. And the way we do that is, if you notice inside, there's a little hole on one side of the motion control. It needs a Phillips head screwdriver all the way inside. And you're going to turn it 
clockwise to set the distance. And this would be a good time to bring the doctor into the room and ask him how far he wants it where he can turn it on and turn it off. Right now it's set pretty close and we need to get that loosened up a little bit. See now my hand's further away and it's turning it on and off. And you can go up to 8 to 10 inches away. So now we bring our hand here, maybe a little bit further. There we go. That's the perfect distance right there. You don't want to set it too far because if the patient's knee comes up and the light's down low, they could turn on and off the light. So that's about eight inches right there. That's probably op optimal position. Now your light's ready to go.